I've noticed you're pretending to masturbate, and I was wondering if you wanted to talk about it. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope the year has been great. And for the first video for the year, I'm talking about sex education. There is a sort of poetic justice in the fact that I decided to do the first video for the year and I decided to do sex education. So for those of you who don't know, sex education is a show on Netflix. And when I saw the trailer for the show, the primary reason why I wanted to watch was because of Gillian Anderson, because she was on X-Files. She is like one of the people that I really love watching on the screen. So when I saw her next project, I'm like, oh, I want to see because of her. But when I saw the trailer, I was a bit mm, about it. So basically the show is about her son. He's socially awkward, he doesn't fit in, and he encounters a girl who is, well, ranks high high above him on the social ladder in school and they team up to give out sex advice to people so when i first saw the trailer i'm like Ugh, is this a thing i'd actually subscribe to watch but i decided to give it a try because you know what if nothing netflix gives you options on binge watching things and deciding to be great so i was like on a whim let me just watch this thing and from the first episode i was hooked look the show is really good like I came for Gillian Anderson, I stayed for the rest of the cast, okay? Um, let me just say that the first thing I like about the show is that the teenagers look like actual teenagers. Yes, for some of them, they look a little bit aged, but this isn't any Cheryl Blossom and Veronica Lodge, okay? Look, there's no way you can watch Riverdale and think some of the characters are 16, 17 year old, but for sex education, the way they look it really works for their ages so that's one of the things i love 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 about it and the fact that it's british because most of the high school shows is just american there's riverdale there's gossip girl there's all american there's so many strange even stranger things isn't really high school but there, there are so many of them that set in america so this is like a break from the regular apart from elite so let's just netflix is doing well in bringing out all this diversity but anyways, I love this show so much because they look like actual teenagers. Oh, I can't tell you how annoying it is to watch a show about people that are supposed to be 16, 17 and in high school and they're wearing six inch heels to school. Like you wake up in the morning and decide to do full face of makeup to school. But that's the best thing about it. The fact that they all look like teenagers, they all act their ages. There's no extra mystery to be solved. There's no murders a la pretty little liars. These are just everyday people going through their everyday life. Yes, with drama, but every show deserves drama. So that's thumbs up. Also, one other thing you should be prepared for before you watch it, be prepared for nudity. I can't stress this enough. I hadn't seen an uncircumcised penis in the flesh till I watched the show. So that was a, a huge wake up call for me. I was like, I don't think I needed to see that. But all in all, I mean, you came for a show called Sex Education. If you don't see certain parts, I don't think you were prepared to watch the show, okay? So that's just it. Be prepared for nudity. If you are uncomfortable with watching people masturbate on screen, do not watch the show. If you are uncomfortable with watching a man's penis, do not watch the show. Lesbians having sex, do not watch the show. Okay, look, there are so many uncomfortable parts in the, like, even for me, you see, that's, that's, that's when you realize, even when you think that, oh, you're very comfortable, there are a lot of things, when you see something like, <gasps> no, the characters in this show give me life, like, Otis is amazing, Maeve is amazing, but Eric is phenomenal, like, there's no way you'd watch the show and not come out of it liking Eric, like, Eric is everything, he's, like, he's a goddess, he's amazing. And so, because I remember when I started, like, you know, the, every, the focus on Otis, like, oh, Otis is the one that's doing, giving the sex therapy lessons. Otis is the one that, you know, has the know-how. But by the time Eric comes, like, the first three minutes of Eric on the screen, I'm like, I, I love Eric. Everything that Eric does, I actually live for. So I'm very excited that there are new people and Eric is, like, the diva of them all. I think the most profound moment for me was when he was going for the prom and he decided to wear the ghillie and then the African print trousers and the jacket. I felt like, yes, work it. And he actually did work it. So I'm very excited about Eric. I'm like, Eric is my favorite. Maeve is amazing. Otis is amazing. Jean Milburn is amazing. And thankfully, it has been renewed for season two, 
which makes sense because there's so much purse around and everybody's quite excited about it so sex education is great one thing i don't like about sex education though is the fact that there are so many secondary characters and yes they give us for a show that has like such an array of characters they actually do well in letting us connect with the secondary characters because even though they don't get a lot of screen time with a little screen time they have you are able to be like oh you know i actually want to know what that person is like what that person's life is about like adam adam doesn't come a lot but anytime by the time you finish the season you're like i want to know what happens with adam i want to know i want i want to see adam happy like that's that's the sense you get from it and that's why i actually enjoy it but i feel like they can they can do more with the secondary characters right because they're like so many of them and it's like for some of them it's like they just show them and they don't bring them again like anwar why is anwar such a, a person like he's i want to know more about him there's so many of the secondary characters that i actually want to know more about ola ola came in in episode five and she has been the cause of like so many online chatter because spoiler alert she and otis ends up at the end and people are like where did she come from but i want to see her story like that's the thing for me i feel like if you can build a strong secondary character base you have an ensemble show i mean that's what makes this is us so great as an ensemble because even though they are like a lot of characters you you actually connect with all the characters so that's the same thing i want to see happen with sex education i want there to i want it to be like a proper ensemble not just like three lead characters and then everybody else so they should make their secondary characters great and i'll follow them anywhere also i like the friendships in it i like the fact that the there's so much to connect to like me once you've been a teenager and you've crossed over to be like to cross over to adulthood which we're all trying to do now you have a sense of like oh you know i like I, I recognize those emotions you might not recognize the situations but you recognize the emotions that go behind it you recognize the emotions behind slut shame you recognize the emotions behind like your first sexual exploration you recognize the emotions behind our friendships trying to navigate friendships and whether or not you think you are doing it well or whether or not you are being you know a bitch to your friends or you're not being there for your friends so the emotions behind the stories are great they are amazing i feel like sex education is one of those shows that is like nobody was expecting it to be great but by the time it ended you're like yeah i like that show so i binge watched it in a day i felt at, at, at first i was like you know what this is one of those shows i'm going to like come back to later you know like when you finish watching one episode after three weeks you finish watching the end but I was like right from the first episode i was like i need i need to see the show i need to see how it ends and i really like the way it ends and also i saw on twitter that people were like why did otis end up with ola he should have ended up with may because you know there's been this whole slow burn but what people don't realize is that tv flourishes of will they or moon's day kind of relationships will they date moon's day date is there something going on that's what TV flourishes off. If they give you the couple that you put once or you put shipping at the end of the first season, why are you going back to watch the second season? What's there to tell? I actually like Otis ending up with Ola because I feel like that makes, you know, interesting storyline. How does their relationship develop? You know, this is not any Serena and Dan Humphrey kind of thing, but this also works. And Maeve has her own thing she has to sort. I mean, she and Jackson, Jackson was a bit of a dick at the end, but I mean, hey, he has his own problems too so that's the thing i want to see more about jackson jackson's mothers i want everything so i'm sure season two of sex education will come out either later in the year or next year the same time the first season came out which would be sad but it means you have to wait a whole year but i mean we finished two years for game of thrones so we can wait another year for sex education so honestly you guys need to get on sex education if you haven't seen it yet please watch it okay let me know what you think let me know who your favorite characters were for me Eric and Otis were like my favorite because I really like story. I really like series that like honestly dwells on friendship. You know, sometimes a, a show will start about friendship and then midway through they'll just stop and then start doing love interest. But this one, even though they were love interest, their friendship was still a core of what the story was. And so I really loved that about it. So let me know who your favorite characters were. Who did you like? Who was the person that you hated to see? For me, it was Jackson. Jackson, I hated him on sight. And I hated him at the end. So no, I do not like Jackson. Maybe Adam, but Adam, he grew, he sort of grew on me. So let me know which characters you hated. Let me know if you loved sex education or you did not love sex education. Let me know if you'd go back for season two, if you're following the cast 
on social media they have if you go on the netflix account they are doing so many things for the cast and they're so interesting you should get on that so let me know what your what your thoughts are on sex education my name is ifa labi uh thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and i'll see you on my next video